When you read the title of this video, you must be wondering why does he need to run Windows 10 with OpenSUSE? I mean, it makes no sense. And, and that's true. I mean, I've been a Linux user since 2005, I think. Um, but recently, I have been doing most of my work in audiovisual format, as you can see on this channel. And this channel is growing amazingly. And unfortunately, Linux cannot handle my workload. Uh, so I use MacBook and um, I use Windows system. I don't want to get into um, why I cannot use Linux. Uh, to be honest with you, there are great applications, OpenShot, KDN Life. I mean, they're amazing applications, but I will talk about my workload in the next video so that you can understand why I'm kind of forced to use Mac OS or Windows uh, to do that kind of thing. But I don't want to get into that. Otherwise, it will be a lot of distraction and we will lose focus on what we want to talk about today. So while I do use Mac OS and I'm trying to use Windows for my video editing workload, everything else that I do runs on uh, either one on the other form of Linux machine or everything else is open source. So all my servers, all my sites, they run on Linux. My local server, which is like 20 terabyte, that runs on Linux. And beyond that, I mean, of course, I am surrounded by IoT devices, smart devices, they all run on Linux, but beyond that, even um, all the file management that I do on my local systems is done through some form of open source or Linux based utilities. Even if I use Mac OS or Windows to edit my films, the files are managed via Linux command line utilities and rsync is one of the most popular or most powerful command that I use or utility that I use for that. So every time I come back from an event, uh, I will do 20 interviews and there'll be like more than one terabyte of storage. And you know, I cannot copy paste it using Finder or Explorer. So I use rsync because you know, if it, even if it stops, I can rsync is I can check that everything is copied properly. So that's what I use. On macOS, that's not a big problem because macOS is pure Unix. So I can fire up the terminal and I can run all the goodies that you have in the Unix or Linux world. If you need more, you can just install Homebrew on macOS and then you have access to everything, YouTube.dl or whatever you ask for, it is there on macOS. But Windows is a totally different ball game. You know, you cannot do all of those things in there. You can do, but then you will have to install either a virtual machine This that has a massive overhead. I mean, you have to dedicate almost 50% resources to a virtual machine and you can't do it when you're running a laptop. At the same time, the integration is also not ideal. Plus there's huge latency. So you cannot expect the same kind of uh, experience that you would want. You can use tools like Sigwin, but honestly speaking, if I am going to do all my work on the platform, I want native tools. So when Microsoft came out with Bash on Windows, that was like a blessings, you know. So, you know, now you can do everything in Windows natively that you would do on Mac OS or a Linux system. So let's have a look at how you actually do that. So all you need to do is open Windows Store and then search for OpenSUSE or Ubuntu or whichever supported distribution you want. Um, I face some problems with Ubuntu and rsync, so I switch to OpenSUSE. So just click on the install button and wait for it to install. Once it's installed, you'll see the bash shell. Just give it a username and a password and it's all done. Yes, on OpenSUSE, it will also ask you if you want the same password for root. Just say yes or no. In the case of no, you will have to provide it with a different password. But since it's a local machine, I don't really care. So once you do that, it's all set and done. Now you can simply run sudo zipper up and it will update your system. Now, if I want to rsync my files, I can, I can see all the drives on uh, slash mnt slash the path for the, for the partition and I can access those hard drives easily from command line. And once you have access to those uh, 
partitions you can move files around using rsync command so i can just simply run rsync avzp and you know give the source and the destination and it will just copy the files it's awesome i can ssh into my linux servers so now from within windows i can do all the work that i would do on a mac OS or a linux system and i think that's the closest windows 10 gets to being a linux system so if you are someone like me who uses a mix of technologies to get the work done who is not a purist who is okay with mac os windows or linux then i think running you know a linux distribution within windows is the best solution instead of using sigwin or uh, a virtual machine of course bash on windows is, is still work in progress so the more you use the better it will get why because you can always provide them with feedback like for example when i face that problem with ubuntu i file a bug report and uh, that's how open source communities work so uh, that's how i roll so being able to run linux in windows is the best thing that has ever happened in the windows world i i am i know it will upset some of my friends in microsoft but i do want to share that uh, being able to run uh, Linux and Windows is like uh, it's like giving a glass of ice water to somebody in hell. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, and as you all know, that all the work that I do is supported by my sponsors and Patreon. So if you like these videos, and if you want me to continue to do this work, where I am a platform agnostic, I support open source, and I talk about uh, uh, you know increasing adoption of Linux and open source technologies, I talk about how companies are embracing and adopting open source then please become a patreon and support my work thanks for watching see you next time bye for now hey and don't forget to subscribe to this channel thank you